Hi, I am Myland, and you are very welcome to my channel. Today we will be looking at the Leibniz subsystem, which is very good and very fun to use. These modules are manufactured by the Chaos devices. My current subsystem consists of three modules. This system essentially converts the incoming voltage values into binary numbers from 0 to 256. Its main module is Dresno which has an audio digital converter at its main input and a clock input below which is a dedicated output for each digit of the 8 digit binary number. These outputs provide gates. These LEDs indicate whether the gate is high or low. At its main output is a digital audio converter which also has a clock input plus input for each of the 8 binary numbers which receive gates. So, we transform the voltage and immediately obtain the resulting binary number. Lipsk inverts these gates so we can further manipulate our binary number. Jena is a wavetable generator that takes input from Dresno and converts it. You can use it independently of Dresno, because it has 8 gate outputs, but you can also connect it to the Dresno output and get amazing functions. Yina has 15 banks, which include Chebyshev polynomials, drum pattern generators, LFO waveforms, audio waveforms, and Walsh functions. More on that in a bit. I won't go into more detail than that, as you can find good tutorials on YouTube. From Bryce. From Bryce. From Bryce. Presentation by Chaos Guys at Schneider's Laden. The best part is that it all sounds complicated, but while you are using the subsystem, you don't feel it. It's all fun and exploration. So, why Leibniz? According to this thread, Leibniz not only invented the differential and integral calculus, but he also significantly contributed to the development of mechanical calculators which was a mechanical device used to perform automatically the basic operations of arithmetic. He was also the first to give a precise description of the binary system. Leibniz also contributed to the development of logic, physics, philosophy, metaphysics and mathematics. Wow, he was a great guy and there's a lot to say about him. But now let's get down to business. I've brought you four different patches, in which I'd like to show you some of the uses of these excellent modules. In the first patch, we use Yena's Bank 6. Our incoming sound is a pure sign from Polygogo. This is where it comes into the dress now. The parameter of wavetable's shape can be modulated, which is what we are doing now. We take a sequence from Moskva send the CV output to Polygogo and send the gate signal to the rotating clock divider. It sends a trigger to satellite, which gives random values. additional gates from the clock divider to the Lipsk, we get another waveform modulation and a kind of paraphony.
Yino can output Walsh functions. Wow, but what are Walsh functions? You can find it out in Curtis Rhodes' amazing book, The Computer Music Tutorial. Mathematical research has shown that other groups of waveforms besides sine waves can be used to approximate signals. A family of scare waves called the Walsh functions can be used to approximate a signal. While the Fourier series builds up waveforms out of component frequencies, Walsh synthesis builds up waveforms using functions of different frequencies. These functions can be used to manipulate CV as well as audio. The input is the same sine wave. Now I've plugged each of the ENS output into a VCA and I control these VCAs with the eight outputs of filter 8, which gives me a nice morphing drone. You can speed up filter 8, which gives nicer results, or experiment with other envelopes. The following example is a sample reduction patch. Since Dresno has separate clock inputs for the input and the output, you can change the resolution of an existing sound by using a different clock. The Dresno has a very fast internal clock, now we'll inactivate it. I'm using a recording of Akoshi. It sounds like this. Now, let's see how it sounds on different clock rates. First, I show you with internal clock of Dresno, then I use generator 3 to provide an external clock. The following technique is a big favorite of mine, with simple yet complex results. You need a resonator, I use the RES4. I send the drone, this is now a sound file from a simulator, into the RES4. I then plug DivKids LFO into Dresno and use the individual outputs to trigger single envelopes. After attenuating these envelopes, I connect them to the volume inputs of the resonators, shape the sound with morphos and enjoy the result. In Yena, I turn off the sync mode and cross-patch the individual outputs to manipulate the Tresno and Lipsk. 
I provide a slower clock with Polygogo, and I use the other outputs of DivKit's LFO as well. possibilities are endless. So, if you can, make sure you try it yourself. Finally, if you like what you have seen and heard, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel or both. Take care and see you soon. Bye.